whether you know it or not, I am a diehard Zombies fan. I am a diehard fan of Call of Duty, Call of Duty Black Ops, and Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I love this game to death. I saw this guide in one of the discount stores, and I'm like, you know what? I have all the season passes for Black Ops 2. I have all the DLC, all the maps. Might as well get the guide because I freaking love this game. And it is kind of the epitome of a certain era of Call of Duty. But I want to talk about this specific Brandy Games guide. First of all, Brandy Games, I don't think they're even around anymore because they don't really, I don't think they do this kind of stuff anymore because these printed guides are kind of an out of date thing. Like nobody buys these anymore. I looked at the table of contents and look at this. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but it's fine, whatever. So. Basically, pages 1 through 153 are the single player, right? Multiplayer pages are 154 through 270. And also, 286 through 297. So you may be asking, where's the zombies? Oh, let me tell you, right? Just guess how many pages are dedicated to zombies lore specifically. Not the single player, not the multiplayer, not the pros, not the extra and unlocks, not the achievement and trophies, not the strike force missions, not the storylines. No, 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 no. The zombies. Guess how many pages are dedicated to these zombies? I'll give you a few seconds, right? Here's the number. I am kidding you not. Out of the 309 pages, 12. 12 pages are dedicated to zombies lore specifically. 12 measly pages in a thing this thick that's like 300 pages. Dude, this was like the peak of Call of Duty and we got a mere 12 pages of lore and strategy and I'm sorry, what? I wasn't gonna make a video about this specific thing because it was a thing I collected and I love to collect these kind of things. But 12 freaking pages? I haven't looked at these pages, by the way. This video is going to be us looking at these freaking 12 pages. So page 274, I'll have some screenshots on the screen uh, because I'm just gonna, we're gonna do a live kind of thing with this. It's, it's such a weird place in like the lore. We got Green Run, right? What lurks inside the haze of smoke and ash. And then we get this really interesting map of transit, right? Survival and grief, transit, all aboard. Initial pages are about transit specifically. About the perk machines, the zombies, tour of the town. So this is, is this seriously all transit? I think these 12 pages are just transit. Oh my gosh, it's just transit. There's no DLC. It's all about transit and it ends before you wonder, wait, is there anything else? No, it's this, this is all about transit. Okay. And listen, I love transit, right? I know it's kind of controversial to like transit nowadays. Listen, I, when I saw the trailers, I loved it. When I played transit, I loved it. If I played it now, I'd still love it. I don't understand the hate to be honest, right? I'm a transit lover, ride or die for transit. I'm get me on that bus. But the fact that this strategy guide is only about transit and it's only 12 page out of the 300 something pages in this is a bit ridiculous, right? Especially from a person who looks at Call of Duty from purely nowadays a zombie lens. And that's why I'm not a huge fan of like MWZ zombies. And I'm excited for Black Ops 6 zombies, but at the same time, like, uh, I'm so mixed on it. I've, I've made several videos about it. Check them out. This is the first kind of video on the channel like this because I just wanted to talk about Black Ops um, and this specifically. This shows the zombie modes, transit, survival, and grief, but it's literally all about transit. So if you want a deep dive on transit specifically, you can buy this. I'm not going to go over every single page because we're going to be here for like an hour and I don't think it's that worth it. I was just kind of confused as to why this guide only has 12 freaking pages about one zombies map. Why wouldn't you use this opportunity to talk about more than one zombies map in this guide? This has nothing to do with the DLC. Most of my memories have to do with the DLC too. So it's kind of interesting. I guess they wanted to stick with the launch stuff specifically. You know what? Totally fair. You know what? Maybe they were still working on the DLC stuff, but like still. You could have given us concept art of the future maps or something. No, it's just about transit. So if you want to learn more about more about transit, there you go. But like, if you play it as much as I have, there's nothing really to learn about it necessarily. Like, 
I will I will go through it right now and see if there's anything that I did not know already about transit because I bet you I already know most of this info. I'm just kind of shocked that it's this little thing. Following the events of Black Ops Zombies Moon, Earth is a shadow of its former selves. Zombies run rampant. Smoke and ash cover most of the landscape, concealing both unknown horrors and rich secrets. Four survivors rally within the remains of the bus depot on the edge of the desolate post-apocalyptic country. Outside, a strange robotic creature sits behind the wheel. Okay, yeah, we already... I didn't know that it went after Moon. That is kind of interesting, actually. So, if you want to learn the lore about before and after transit or maybe before i didn't realize this took place right after moon that's kind of interesting i i've watched videos on the lore of it and i did not know that fun fact so there is stuff to be learned by this but you're only going to learn about transit none of the other maps there honestly the dlc maps are better than transit i'll give you that but i still had fun with transit i don't understand the transit hate let me know what you think in the comments about transit um People are haters, and I'm like, dude, it was such a fun map. I loved it so much. Adjustable difficulty. If the game is a little too tough for your first couple of four plays into the fray, you can lower the difficulty to hone your zombie. You can adjust the difficulty on a zombies game? Since when? What? I don't think that's a thing. Single player, multiplayer, but like, survival and grape knew about that transit. Keep alluding to a shroud of smoke and ash. Like, it's fog. <laughs> what do you mean? I think it's interesting that we got this kind of uh, in-depth look at transit. So if you want me to talk about uh, these specific pages of transit, let me know in the comments. Probably won't. I'm probably going to read this on my own time. I'm not going to see. I, I got this mostly as a collectible, but I, I probably will read these 12 pages pages of. Uh, and if I learn anything, I'll uh, maybe make a separate video. I don't know. But I just want to do this chill little thing. I recorded some of uh, the main channel video. So I thought we'd do a little sit down. I'm also trying to be a little bit more fashionable. I got some new clothes. So you're going to see a lot more uh, new threads in some future videos. And I'm excited for that. That'll be fun. And yeah, that's really about it. This is a really cool piece of history and art. And I love it.